Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, me and my husband, Anthony, he's gonna join me in this video. We went to Trader Joe's, our, well, we did go to Trader Joe's, but what yeah. happened first? <laughs> we had quite an adventure today, so should we tell them? What well, happened to your car? I had a flat tire. <laughs> I had a flat tire on my car, which it happens. But come to find out that it actually was in a really bad spot. So I had to get a new tire, but the tires were kind of getting already to that point. So, right. um, you know, I had to get new tires. So right, it was, was something unexpected. It, right, it was not expected for our day to get a whole set of tires, no. but nonetheless, we got it done and we still made our trip to Trader Joe's. Um, we are looking for food alternatives in our diet. We're trying to eat better um, and look at our diet, look at things that the kids are eating that maybe there's a better alternative for them just to try and find one, two, three new things to implement in their diet, in our diet, to help get us a little bit healthier and to eat better. I was better. growing up, basically the food that I ate was sugary cereals for breakfast. Um, what else do we have? Hot dogs, mac and cheese, good old craft mac and cheese. Um, Sloppy Joe's, pretty much that was it. Did you eat yeah, anything else? Yeah, that was pretty much exactly the same thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't remember my mom making too many like chicken meals unless it was like, we got like KFC or, yeah, yeah I don't really remember no. that, or vegetables, not as much. Yeah. So nowadays with our children, um, especially with our son, he does have ADHD and a lot of things in his diet really play a part on how he is for his day, whether he's hyperactive or if he's more calm. And I think a lot of the foods, he's difficult. Triggers how yeah, how <laughs> would you say Joe is with, I mean, Joe's amazing. I'm sure you guys have seen him. Yeah, but he's just, it's just something with food. I mean, this kid well, just he has, has a... SPD, so textures, scents, um, anything with food, yeah, he, he's very he, it's very difficult to even get him to try it. If it looks funny, if it smells funny. Yeah. I mean, what were you, oh, uh, Sam was eating like a breakfast sandwich yeah. the other day. And he's like, what's that smell? He's like, it smells horrible. Yeah. Like, it smells great. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's just the way the kid is. There's, you know, he can't help that. Yeah, he can't help it. So that's one of our, Sam is pretty good. Sam's a snacker like you. Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah, she, yeah, she takes she after dad. Something. She likes her snacks and things like that. But she does eat fruits, vegetables. She will eat dinners when I make them much more easily than Joe will. Yeah. So she's not as much of, um, you know, she'll be easier to work but with. For that. dinners, all they want is like chicken nuggets, hot dogs, hot dogs mac and cheese, pizza. or the good old <laughs> M word. What's the M word? I'm trying to think if you know. It's not it, it, candy. M and M's. No, McDonald's. Oh they yeah. They always yeah, want McDonald's. McDonald's. So <laughs> our main thing was number one to attack some meats and to try new items. So what we did, Trader Joe's, we spent a total of sixty-four dollars and ten cents. So I'm going to tell you kind of what we bought and um, what we're hoping will happen with this, if any of them will work. So one thing that we found were these smart dogs. These are meatless veggie hot dogs. These are $2.99 a pack, which is a great deal. You get eight hot dogs. So we're gonna try these with the kids. We're gonna eat them as well. I don't like hot dogs, but I'm going to be a team player and yeah. eat them. Dad's gonna eat them. We're all gonna have them. And hopefully, I mean, if that's something that we yeah. can have them eat versus Whatever's in other hot dogs, I don't even know. I think know putting what's like just ketchup and having it on a bun is gonna actually help. Yeah, I mean the taste of it. I I know we're gonna notice a difference. I mean, we yeah. will notice a difference because you're so used to eating the regular hot dogs all the time. So, but uh, if they can just like this, that would be that would be that would be one awesome awesome step. And then what we are attempting, and we've never tried this before, Trader Joe's beefless ground beef. Um, what else do we, uh, tofu. We are. Tofu. Yeah, cardboard stuff, you yeah, know. We are gonna, but we're gonna, you know, a lot of people eat that, we just haven't. No, we just never tried it, really. Yeah, so. we, I mean, I guess it's just finding the right recipes that work. So definitely yeah. with this beefless ground beef, this was $2.99 and it's 12 ounces. And I'm gonna show you, it definitely looks different. It was in the refrigerated section, but what I'm gonna try and do is use this with like tacos or you said with the ground beef, like yeah. cilantro, making sure there's some right. good 
Put um, some rice in it, maybe. Yeah, just something. Salsa, I mean, whatever. so we'll see. We'll see. Those are those are two major changes for us, honestly. Oh, yeah. So if we can get one to work, that would be amazing. Then I got the kids these organic low-fat yogurts. There's four cherry and four berry. These were $2.99 as well. So these are kind of like the Go-Gurts, but I believe the sugar and everything is less sugar. So there's eight grams of sugar. I'm pretty sure there's more in Go-Gurts yeah, than that. I'm sure there is. And we did get some organic ground beef. Um, like I said, we're not we're not changing our lifestyle 100%. This no. is just finding a couple of healthy things that will work for us. So this is 85% um, lean, 15% fat. This was $5.99. Okay. Pizza. <laughs> Pizza is a big yeah. problem. Like that's another thing that the kids always want. So my husband found this. It's gluten free, which is great because we could really go with gluten free products. It's definitely smaller than your normal frozen size pizza. But the crust is out of cauliflower. Yeah. So that so. right there is. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a tough one. That's gonna be a tough one. I know we'll be we would be fine with it. Yeah, we'll that. be fine with it. But I mean, most importantly, yes, it's for us. But yet we want we don't want to be eating these foods and then our kids not eating them right, too. Yeah. We want us all to be. I want them to be. I mean, they have a whole life ahead of them. I want right. them to be healthy. So yes, it does have a cauliflower crust. It says three servings per container. So we'll let you, all of these foods we are going to be trying. So I will do a follow-up video and I'll probably throw him in there if he is, I know he'll be fine with it, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> to give you some insight as if it was a thumbs up or thumbs down. So I did get the Trader Joe's chocolate whole milk. This was $3.99. This lasts a while. The kids don't yeah. guzzle that down as much, so we'll see how that goes. And then they have these organic silver dollar pancakes. Now, there's 11 servings in here, and that's three pancakes per serving. So there's 33. Um, again, my son, my husband, I bought the Aldi cake batter, or no, the Aldi pancake batter, and yeah. he could instantly he tell the difference. difference. He just right knows away. a difference. So, I mean, at least eating organic is going to be you know, something that will be better. The for next biggest concern with us is snacks that the kids are eating. Um, they always want to have goldfish crackers, which I don't think are the worst, honestly. No, goldfish. I don't think so. It's just, you know, when Joe wants to snack on them, he's got to have He wants to have the whole bag, them. and it's, it's like, like no. slow down, bud. Yeah, it's... Put some in a bowl. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely... <laughs> No, he's 100% right because he will just devour the bag. He'll, yeah, because if you don't take it away, he'll eat the whole thing. Yeah, so that is something that we're working on as well. What else do they want? They always, okay, if we buy string cheese, they want to eat the whole package yeah. in like two days. And, and they will. String cheese is okay, but it's not good, you know, so it's, yeah. I guess, watching their portions yeah. is another concern for us. And I don't know if you guys have those concerns too. Any concerns you have, comment below and you know, this is just a one-on-one -on -one parent. We are no super parents. Nope. We go. The one good thing that we do have with our each other is we communicate. So yeah. we can talk and we can figure out what is going to work best. Um, so snacks is always a huge concern for us because, like I said, they just want you know cookies and things that aren't as good. So one thing that we've found were these gluten-free cinnamon apple snack sticks. It says it's sweet and crunchy corn snack flavored with apple, cinnamon, and sugar. So I mean, they sound really good. There's only four grams of sugar. So we'll see, yeah, we'll see how those go. They look, they look okay. And then popcorn, we did find the organic, oh, how much were these? These, uh, $3.99? $3.29? No, I don't think they were that much. The no. apple sticks. Oh, no, $1.99. No. Yeah. Were they $1.99? Like, I, I literally have this small receipt and I, Here, I, I'll look, I I'll can't look. even find it. I know the popcorn was $1.99. The organic popcorn yeah, with organic extra virgin olive oil. It's five ounces, so it's not a super huge bag, but we'll see how they like that. $2.49. Okay, so one thing that Sam likes to eat is a lot of ice cream. She'll always ask for ice cream, popsicles, things Slurpees. like that. Slurpees. <laughs> Slurpees. She always wants to go and get a Slurpee. So we found these fruit frenzy bars, and these are raspberry, lemon, and strawberry. These were just $1.99 each. So they had this kind, and then they had a lime flavored, and it has four bars. So that's 50 cents each. So I am 
praying that she likes these because I will definitely grab okay, these. So the next thing that we had gotten was uh, some organic grape jelly. Um, I do like the jelly part. <laughs> <laughs> he likes butter, jelly, yeah. peanut butter. I, I just like having toast just, in the morning with a little bit of jelly on there. So since it's the organic, the other stuff in the regular stores are just, I mean, it's actually really um, not that great. This has, you know, 12 grams of sugar. Um, and that was two ninety nine. And that was two ninety nine. The jelly. Yeah. And then we had gotten this cookie and cocoa swirl. Um, <laughs> it's not organic or anything, but I think the ingredients on here are much, much better. Um, this was three ninety nine though. But, um, you know, something like this is like great. I'm going to just take this with some, some wheat bread for lunch uh, for work. Um, just slap that on or same thing in the morning. Um, what was the other one? What was it? Cookie butter or cookie, something? Yeah, We've had that before. Butter. Our neighbor gave it to us. It's that so was really good. good. That was really good. We really liked it, right? Yes. We were going to get that, that but my good. husband saw this. So we thought maybe with the we'll cocoa swirl, the kids might want it on like bread for a snack. We can try that. Right. So um, that was a good find that he found. Yeah. I mean, especially with the jelly because like Joe will have peanut butter and jelly. So with this having much less sugar in it, uh, hopefully we can kind of get him to stick with that as one much good, as possible. <laughs> right. One good thing with, not one good thing with Joe, there's a million good things about Joe, but one thing that I love about him is he drinks a ton of yeah. water. That kid does uh, drink. With him drinking a lot of water, he helps Sam. She's more of a juice soda, soda drinker, so she's yeah. kind of getting balanced out from him. So that is a good thing. And then we had gotten these uh, oat brand muffins. Um, they're actually vegan, um, which I don't know. We're gonna give it a try and see what it tastes like. But these were four forty nine, and they're and, wheat free. Uh, yeah, they're wheat. You know, they they have everything that's they say is actually good for you. So um, hopefully the taste is good too. <laughs> yeah, I mean they look really moist. They look good, but. Um... You know, and I guess anything with coffee you can make work like right. in the morning. But yeah. those are like, I think those are super cheap compared to like Mariano's. I oh, think yeah. Mariano's are like $4.99. Yeah. Sometimes they're $4. Yeah. So really, really reasonable. The Mariano's do have some good stuff. They have good muffins. But then again, they're not wheat free. They're yeah. not vegan. So, you know. And again, we are not doing this as a 100% lifestyle. No. We're just trying to find a just few things that will work things. and share with you guys yeah. if anyone is interested. So then we did get these Trader Joe cereal bars. These you get six, they're $1.99. Like any other cereal bars, they have strawberry, blueberry, so we picked that up. And then for the kids, different cookies. We got these quadruple almond butter cookies. In this tub here, this was $3.99. So this is gonna be way different than the Chips of Hoy or Oreos or you know chewy chocolate chip cookies that they're looking for, but I think what it's gonna take is just, just keep implementing this for a while. That's why we did a small haul, because we didn't right. wanna go all gung-ho. No, and... baby steps, we have to kind <laughs> we of are, build babies, our yeah. way up, yeah. Yeah, so we'll see how they like this. Because we don't wanna shock our bodies that quick. <laughs> okay, so I love when you walk into Trader Joe's and they have all the pretty flowers, and they're really reasonable. Um, I almost wanted to buy, everybody was buying flowers today, except us, uh, <laughs> get, and they were getting, they had really cute tote bags, I didn't get a tote bag. But, we, I know, he's gonna roll his eyes. We walked right into um, the fruit and vegetable section, and I have to tell you, I was really impressed. Impressed with the prices, impressed with the quality. Yeah. Like if I needed more fruit, I would have gotten more today, but we really didn't need that much because if you saw my grocery haul from I'm this sorry, week, sorry. we, you know, we have so much fruit, so we have to use up what we have. But that is definitely one I was surprised. I mean, overall, the yeah. prices at Trader Joe's, I was surprised. Yeah. Um compared to Aldi, yes, it's going to cost more money to yeah. you know, fully, you know, do your groceries there. Will we ever do 100% groceries there? No, I don't think so. probably not. Um, will we, can we, you know, if we get to 50-50, I think that would be huge oh, for yeah. us. That would be like a really big improvement. Yes. Um, but one thing I got were these mini pearl grape tomatoes. This is a full pound, so this is big. Um, we had gotten some, but I still have um, more stuff that I wanted to, that I needed tomatoes for. So this was two sixty nine. I thought this was a good price because Jewel has like a half, size container for $2.99. So I thought that was like a really good deal. 
And then another thing that we got with this was the Southwestern chopped salad. We've had the Aldi one and we didn't like it. We've had the one at Jewel and we love it. Mm -hmm. And this was $3.99, so it's comparable to the price at Jewel. And it comes with a um, cilantro and spicy Southwest avocado dressing, which we love, but they never give enough of. So then we have to drizzle it in ranch right. with what we're left. But this was a good buy. Um, limes, bag of limes, dollar forty nine, cheaper than Aldi, and even more. I have four, eight, nine limes here for a dollar and forty nine cents. Oh, Wasn't crazy. I pretty excited yeah, about this? Yeah, was. was quite embarrassing, but lemons were uh, organic lemons were a dollar ninety nine a bag. I think they're two ninety nine at Aldi, so even cheaper. So it was nice to find that. And then we got this bag of organic. Granny Smith apples. This was $2.99. So lots of good things. Now we went early in the morning and we thought, uh, you know, Trader Joe's is small. We thought, okay, we're getting there. Well, kind of the, the whole car thing kind of set us back, but it was yes. still what, like 10, 10 30. So yeah, it was kind of early. It's so small when there's a lot, even a decent amount of people with their carts. The aisles are really, you know, just not a lot of room. So yeah. be patient. Um, I don't know what time is best to go. If you guys have a suggestion of the best time to shop, let us know. Maybe super late at night before it closes. But that was one thing. It was a little bit aggravating. Just trying yeah. to look through everything, especially. We haven't been there in years, yeah, Trader Joe's. Long. So um, keep that in mind. Have patience. And um, yeah, that was just one tip I wanted to okay, share. Okay, so you. overall, how do you feel? I feel, uh... <laughs> you ready? <laughs> no, yeah. What's your favorite? You know, what is your most, like, exciting thing to try? I know my most exciting Well, thing. I mean, I'm definitely excited just to taste the hot dogs. Yes. And to see, like, how the cookies taste. Yeah. It's more or less to see because I think if I enjoy it, I think the kids may actually like yes. it. I mean, if we could find one thing... It tastes good thing. for me. Right. But another thing, too, in... It's like, you know, when you go out, it's like this stuff is kind of ex expensive, but if you sit and really think about it, it's not. Because as many times as we've gone out and sat at a restaurant, I mean, you could easily pay eight to nine dollars for a salad. Yeah. So you're talking two people, you're talking almost 20 bucks. So I mean, $3.99 for this little bag, and probably, even if we get one serving each out of it, Right. To me, it's still worth it. So. It is. And we never, you know, you just look at the whole picture about how Anthony, you know, how we talk about it. Like, okay, what if we took the kids out to eat? How much would we right. spend? You know? Right. It is. Food is so expensive. It's, it's, it's expensive whether you go out to eat or if you go grocery shopping. But yeah. all in all, it's going to be cheaper if you just grocery shop. So thanks for watching this video. We just wanted to put it out there because we are just looking for some change, looking for some better for our kids. For ourselves, for lose our energy, weight. lose some weight, <laughs> but more, more just to feel better. It's yes. not about, it's just about the feeling better, the energy, grabbing our energy back. Cause we used to be, you know, we're not going to blame it on the kids cause it's not the kids fault, but we all know no, that once kids come around, there's more stresses, there's more demands yes. and that plays, you know, we can't always, you know, I don't always handle it in a positive way you know yeah. I, tr no. I am trying to but there's yeah. days when I just can it, it gets to you brings you down so I just want to have that positiveness so that I feel good and then I want to know that my kids have a good future ahead of them especially you know I don't even want to get into like how things are processed and things like that because yeah. because we're no experts I'm no expert but I know that it can't be good it can't be right you know and right. just knowing that is enough for me to know that we need to eat more natural and better yes. so we'll if you want to see a follow-up video on some of these foods what we thought what we thought was good what was not so good what we liked what the kids didn't like just comment below and let us know we'll definitely be able to do that for you guys thanks for listening to us if you guys have any tips on healthy eating Eating or healthy eating habits for kids, for please family. Let us know. Please let us know. <laughs> yes. We will definitely be checking the comments. So, oh, and also, guys, I wanted to let you know that my husband's new channel is up, live, and ready to go. So, definitely send him some love and check it out. Um, he is our finance man, he keeps the finances together, he keeps us on track. Um, and together, we work as a unit 
to just stay positive and yes. to do the best that we can for our families. I will link it at the end of this video. Give it a check. Until the next video, guys, take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.